wonderful scripture um, uh -huh. we look into the word of God we have to realize you know the Bible says um, to be carnal to, to be carnal minded carnal minded you see this body we live into is not our friend because the Bible says that um, the, 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 the mortal mind is, not, is an enmity to God. Our, our flesh, our mind, the things we see, everything about us is an enmity to God because it's not subject to the law of God. So in our body is something fighting against the laws of God. That's why man sin. Because our body is... It is synonymous with sin. Our body we live in is synonymous with sin. For we were born in sin and we are shaping iniquity. However, God has gave, made a way for us to get away from sin, to be cleansed from sin, which is many of us know about repentance and baptism and receiving the Spirit of God. That is a way out of this sinful flesh, sinful lifestyle. But even though we are saved, sometimes it did this sin because we're in the flesh, it keeps creeping back in, creeping back in. And so I always say that our body, our, 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 our spirit, our soul is like our body, physical body. Because my brethren, if we don't have a shower or a bath every day, oh. our, every day we will smell stink we will smell so we need to have a spiritual washing every day and we we can we spiritually wash ourselves when we pray we fast and pray to god that is spiritual washing of us otherwise if we don't fast if the other way of saying if you don't fast you can't last we, if we don't pray, we can't stay. You know, it's that we have to have that connection with God. Yes, sir. Just as yes, we, sir. naturally we have to wash our body to keep our body clean, we have to wash our spirit every day every with the Word of God. Day. The Word of God also washes us. And so, you know, the Scripture is such a wonderful Scripture. And every time we look at the Word of God, it just gets so deep to us because we see that this man's son was a, a, a lunatic can you imagine yeah. the state of that man's son that the, 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 he, it's a spirit it, a warfare spirit it was a spirit upon that young man that oh him, cast him into the fire into the oh my god have mercy can you imagine how the father feel that from the from his born he was going through that that bad spirit that evil spirit that demonic spirit was upon him he was helpless and sincerely they, they bought the man bought the child to the uh, to the uh, to the disciples and of course they prayed earnestly they prayed they prayed they prayed but they could not cast him out um, and Jesus say, and they bring him to Jesus um, and Jesus says you how long will I suffer you bring him to me um, and the Bible says Jesus said thou dumb spirit so yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. it's a spirit yes spirit yes and so, brethren, we know sometimes when we see people in certain condition, even some sometimes when they're lame, and they, you know, they they're in certain circumstances, it's a spirit. That's right. But for us, you know, I see that in the old days, those disciples were so charged up with the Holy Spirit that they felt, you know, it was like Jesus was with them moving with them and they said they could command peter and uh, peter john peter and john went into the temple and they they just the presence of god was with them so much that when they saw the man stand laying down bearing in the arm peter says silver and gold have i none they were in the spirit they were in the spirit 
Peter says, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Brethren, we have the power. I really yeah, truly know. believe we have the power, but we, if we don't exercise the power, it's not going to work. But the power is there. The power is available because Jesus is the power. And when we have Jesus, we have the power. Yes, sir. So, my God bless you. But let us remember these words that this kind, there's sometimes we have to fast and pray. And I agree with you, Pastor Winston. Sometimes I wonder if we fast. I said to myself, do I fast enough? Yes, sir. You know, do I fast enough? You know, I think, you yeah, know. Pray. Do we pray now? Do we go and pray somebody now? Do we do it? Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. That's all right. Do we go to hospital with somebody? Do we go and look for somebody and get them some food? What are we doing? These things, we when you do these things, God will bless you and give poor. And uh, that's how we receive a blessing and a gift from God by working for God. <coughs> the Bible says, I was in the Bible, labor are few. Let's go out and pray more and find one of prayer meeting together. Yes. And pray together and sing together and do work together in the kingdom. And God is going to bless you. And these things can only go. Go by fast and press. Yes.